Hey guys, Andy Dramatic Aquatics, and here we are with a little bit of unboxing and a little bit look at what we've got just coming in. So we've got three boxes this week, and then we've also got a large number of plants to go inside the plant aquarium as well. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So, Harlequin Rasbora, these are a lovely sort of size as well. We've got plenty of them in for the weekend because we have sold all of these during the week. So they are a nice size. Wow, will you look at that? It's a million half beak. They are well and truly nice them. There's one in the bag. So hopefully there should be another one to keep him company in one of the tanks. Incredible little critter. And these are the cold water or the Borneo suckers. You see in the bag there, I think there's 10. And that should last for all weekend. Ideal for anybody with cold water tanks. What says, ah, oh my goodness gracious me, will you look at that man? We've got red, we've got pink, we've got orange, and we've even got an alien one, man. Look at that. It's green. Shut the front door. How incredible is that? I've seen them on pictures that sort of colour, but these look like you could just wrap them in a sweet paper and eat the lot, like. That's well dodgy. Look at that, man. Look at the shape of a teed. That is unbelievable. Can't wait to get them in the tanks and have a look at them swimming around. Not sure how they get the green ones. I just hope that they're not dyed. And who's this? That's a little Dumbo fighter they're flipping about. Trouble is you turn the bag around in front of the camera and the fish goes to the opposite side. So another little Dumbo. Nice colours on him. We'll have a look at him when we get him out. And then back in the box there's another one. And this is a different colour, this one. Just trying to get the camera to kind of focus in, but the fish is just going potty. So we're not going to get much of him on there. There we go. Look at the size of his he is, man. Incredible. Back in the box. Ah, uh, some more weird fish. We've got a blue one, a green one, a red one. I've got a feeling these are going to fly out the door, you know. Well, that's what parrots do, isn't it? Unless they've had their wings clipped. Boom. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I've just noticed that the bottom of the box is actually broken down there, so it's a good job we had no leaky bags. And we've got some of these in last week, but we only got the two, which is the red paku. And guess what? Yeah, somebody bought them and I wanted to grow a few up for this big tank that's behind us. So this week we've got another five of these red paku coming in. Again, these don't get as big as the black ones. Uh, a vegetable eating piranha, there you go. Ah, and this, oh my goodness gracious, will you look at this, man. This is the Agassisi Double Red. Very, very nice fish these are. Can't wait to see these in with the shrimp. Look at them, man. Beautiful double reds. Absolutely stunning. There's another half beak. There he is. Always remind me of the alligator garfish. Obviously just on a smaller version. And some more weird and wonderful parrots. Multicoloured ones, so that one's got a bit of green, bit of blue, bit of black on its fin. And we've got a yellow stroke green one there as well. These are going to look absolutely awesome when we get these in the tank with that bonsai tree and the giant karami. Let's pop them down there for a second. Hopefully they're not escape. What we've got left. 
Atsiaga Sisi. Some of the smallest neon tetras ever. There you go. Couldn't be much smaller even if they were still in the egg, I reckon. And the last bag in box number one is the little rocket cars. These are stunning little fellas, these. Again, be better looking at these once we get them in the tank. So that's it for box number one. I'm going to come back and have a look in box number two. Here we are, box number two. It's always a bit nerve wracking when you first open the box because you just don't know what you're going to find. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh wow, these are the little claiming Garami. These are well nice man. Not sure if the camera's... No, there you go, look at that. And these guys are only about three to four centimetre. But they are absolutely beautiful, man. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. I will make sure that I get these on uh, camera as soon as I get them into the tank. Because they are just absolutely stunning, man. Little Karami. Let's have a look and see what else we've got. White Cloud Mountain Minnow. Nice for a cold water tank or room temperature anyway and generally fast enough to keep away, keep with fancy goldfish there's your fancy goldfish are not quick enough to catch these little guys but they are absolutely next we've got some tricolour platies and not seeing many babies in the bag well, there's 25 or 30 in there again great in your ordinary community tank And the marble platies are back. These are very, very popular. And you can see in the bottom of the bag there's loads of poop, which means that they're not starved. So that's great. These ones should do absolutely cracking. There's no skinny ones in there, so that is absolutely fantastic news. Sometimes when they get shipped from country to the UK, then they get starved a little bit. And then again from our suppliers to us. Yellow comet platies are back. Again, they're in lovely condition, so they're great. What else have we got? Some rainbow plat or tricolored platies. Very nice. Again, all in good condition. Normally, we don't see this with the platies. Normally, a few skinny ones. And what we've got in here, we've got living stone eye. Not sure if you're picking them up. There we go. It's a living stone eye cichlid. These are beautiful. And let's have a look and see what else. The bumblebee cichlid. And you can see on the stripes on these guys. Very difficult to see through the bag. There we go. So again we'll get these fellas out and have a look at them in the tank. And then finally for box number two is the mollies um, we've got a few dalmatians in there as well and again all looking nice fat and healthy so that's it for box number two i'm going to get these floated and then we'll open box number three and here we are box number three and i think this will just be the uh, it's the cold water stuff so in here we've got the comet goldfish some more of them for the weekend. There's a few nice ones in there as well with some nice markings. So that's them little fellas. What else have we got? Some calico fantails. And I think there's a bubble eye one there as well. That's a little beauty. And what else have we got? Some more white fantails. These are always a good popular seller, especially with the colour change in lights, because then you can have colour change in fish. And then just some more Comet Goldfish. So that's it for the unboxing. Liam's actually started with the putting the plants out.
so these are looking good but as you can see there is still a whole entire box full we've got the java moss now if that had an adidas sign on that would become a java moss but we'll wait until he's got them all put away because we can see in the packaging here there is absolutely boatloads of potted plants lots of bunched plants as well and what I do like is the way that they package these and if I just lift the lid off you can see that the plants are in nice containers so they don't get any damage while it's travelling so there you go beautiful little things so we'll get all these put away and then we're going to have a look at the fish which are currently floating at the moment that's all the fish put away now just up here it's a little bit difficult to see because of the reflections but there is your little fighting fish and this is the Dumbo look at the size of them lugs on his fins man absolutely magnificent um, other stuff that we've got somewhere over here there should be another Dumbo there he is just sitting chilling out next to the plants looking good and a nice little shrimp up on the ornament there at the top and there we go a little crystal shrimp didn't get them in today we've had them in three or four weeks now but there you go just thought I'd get that while it was there in sight uh, what else did we get let's have a look down the bottom we've got a boatload of new neons but they are absolutely tiny as you can see and then up here we've got the Malian half beaks who's just getting the dinners hopefully gonna feed because as you can see on the stomachs look they're well skinny but hopefully in just a couple of days they'll be nice and plump and hungry all the time because they are just at the moment skin and bones there man so we'll give them a few days to settle down and there's a clown pleck that's the L103 there's another one just there actually got some really nice markings on these guys when they eventually come out to be seen another fighting fish there nice blue and white one and up the top here where Liam is is the gars so let's just pop up and have a quick look at them actually see them from right over here look at that man how incredible so that is the rocket car bus is doing well just got Plek as a company there next door we've got the old crayfish and what else did we get in the tilapia put a coffer eye there sit in the corner but the best of all guys is these fellas and this is the parrots of many color let's just see if we can get in here without spooking them too much so we've got orange we've got green we've got yellow and we've got blue which is a bit difficult to see in there living there quite happy with the giant garami so that's all the fish put away folks and it's nearly home time for myself and Liam so we're going to start closing the shop down now and hopefully we'll get this uploaded soon so for tonight folks thanks for watching hope to see you here over the weekend but for now that's it good night <laughs>